Let's mm. talk about this uh, baseball player, Trevor Bauer. I'm going to be honest. I had never heard of this guy before this story. I'm not a sports person, but apparently he was extremely successful in the in the in the world of baseball. Um, and then he got me too'd. And this story has dominated over the news over the past couple of days. He was an MLB pitcher for anyone? Anyone? The Dodgers. Yes. See, they don't know either. Yeah, the Dodgers. Thank you. He had a hundred and two million dollar deal. Three-year, $102 million deal. So this guy was big. Um, then along comes a woman named Lindsay Hill. She's 29 now. I think she was 27 when she made the accusations. And she's from San Diego, not far from LA. And she accused Trevor of sexually assaulting her. She went in court. She tried to get a temporary restraining order against him. Did not get it, which is interesting and important. Um, but went on accusing him of sexually assaulting her. And ultimately he sued her for defamation saying it's not true. And the case has just wrapped up after a couple of years where he did not pay her $1. She did not get, she didn't get money from him, but she got a $300,000 payment from an insurance company and she did not pay him any money. But he is out there now basically accusing her of being the Jussie Smollett of Me Too accusers. And if you listen to the four minute video he posted, it's very compelling. I'll play you just a little on um, what he is saying. He's talking about the texts that he unearthed in the discovery process that she was sending around before she ever met Trevor, before she would come to be in his bed. Here's Sat 17. Next victim, star pitcher for the Dodgers. A text Lindsay Hill sent to a friend before she ever even met me. What should I steal? She asked another in reference to visiting my house for the first time. The answer, take his money. So how might that work? I'm going to his house Wednesday, she said. I already have my hooks in. You know how I roll. Then after the first time we met, net worth is 51 mil, she said. Bitch, you better secure the bag, was the response. Uh, but, but how was she gonna do that? Need daddy to choke me out, she said, being an absolute whore to try to get in on his 51 million. Read another text. I can only wow. imagine the field day you would have with that one, Arthur Idala, had you been representing Trevor Bauer. Yeah. Um, with that being said, though, Megan, because I saw this video not even preparing for this, but I'll tell you who sent it to me. My co counsel on the. Um, Harvey Weinstein trial, because we did have similar um, emails like this in the Harvey Weinstein trial, not necessarily about getting money, but about the love affair that they had and how much she loved him. And you can't wait to meet his, my, my mom, et cetera. Um, the fact that there's a minimal amount of money exchanged here and a guy that's worth this amount of money uh, or was, I should say, worth this amount of money shows that her lawyers who, as your viewers would know, they only make money off of what she gets. So they work their tail off, and under a best-case scenario here, they worked for years on a case where, at best, they're getting $100,000, which sounds like a lot, but for a big law firm, it's not a lot. They were looking to add at least another zero to that for $3 million, where they would get a million-dollar legal fee. So obviously, they lost faith in her ability to continue this lawsuit and to go forward. Uh, although... On the flip side of the coin, the medical records here lean pretty heavily in her favor. As okay, but there's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. There's a, and we'll get into that. So first, I want to just correct something I said. She got her temporary restraining order, which you can get basically for nothing. But they denied her the permanent restraining order where you actually have to prove more of a case. Um, and there, She was able to produce documentation showing black eyes and a busted lip and some medical records showing injury to her mark. But what he produced was text messages showing, forgive me, this isn't a nice way of putting it, but it's literally true, that she asked for it, that she wanted rough sex with him. They had two sexual encounters and that she literally was asking for him to beat her up, to choke her out, to slap her, to punch her. And that is why she was denied the original um, restraining order, the permanent restraining order. Let me read to you what the judge said when denying the permanent restraining order. 
the judge said, uh, Ms. Hill's injuries as photographed are terrible. And under most circumstances, merely seeing photographs such as these would serve as a per se condemnation of the perpetrator of such injuries. But the judge went on to say that she believed Hill, quote, had objectively voiced consent to specific acts of rough sex. And the injuries she suffered could be viewed as a natural consequences of the acts to which she consented. Petitioner had and has the right to engage in any kind of sex as a consenting adult that she wants with another consenting adult. She was not ambiguous about wanting rough sex in the party's first encounter and wanting rougher sex in the second encounter, the judge ruled, adding that Mr. Bauer did not pursue the woman or threaten to coerce her into sexual activity. And before I give you the floor, I'm just gonna read for the audience those texts, okay, that the judge was looking at that did not make their way around all the publications that condemned Trevor Bauer like that when they saw the pictures of the injuries. Here's number one. He writes, we only have segments, but he writes to her, yes, ma'am, whatever you want. She writes, but off when, but off when it's time to choke me out. Thanks, you're the best. He writes, you want to go out, huh? Mm. She writes, see, that was a game changer. This is clearly after the first interlude. He writes, tell me more. She responds, never been more turned on in my life. Give me all the pain, roar. Um, then on page two, she writes, now that I know what it feels like to wake up from it, uh, though it'll probably feel just as good to wake up from that. She's talking about getting choked out. He writes, God, you just turned me on so much. She writes, mission accomplished then. He writes, now I just want my arm around your neck from behind. She responds, do it harder. And they keep going like this. I mean, I could keep, I could go on. But no, this don't. is the woman who's <laughs> claiming now, you know, she goes to court to try to get a restraining order against the guy saying he's posing a physical threat to her. I mean, how does that even happen when you've got text messages like this? Okay, first of all, please don't read any more. I already need a shower after that. Um, yeah. I have a problem, obviously, with what you just talked about. That said, I'm not in the bedroom. I don't know if there were acts that crossed the line that she did not consent to. I can assure you of one thing, and I speak for Arthur also as a zealous criminal defense attorney. There is no way in hell that she would ever get a jury to convict him of anything or pay out a dollar to her if I'm zealously defending um, him in that case. There's so much to work with that her testimony wouldn't mean much after all of that. Mm. Right, but kudos it? to the judge, because I, I'll be telling you, Megan, I can only speak for my jurisdiction here in the five boroughs. I think in a high profile case like this, to cover their own butt, I think a judge would issue a, 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 a we call them an order of protection, an order of protection here. Um, and just to say, you have to always stay away from her. If you go anywhere near her, um, you know, it, it's a felony violation and you can be punishable up to seven years in jail. That just has been, as of late, the, the, the fallback position because this way a judge is protected. Because 99% of the times, nothing's going to happen. There's that 1% of the time where a guy will violate it and, and they will, um, the judge is winds up on the cover of the paper. This judge allowed this person out or I gave him what's called a limited order of protection, which means you're allowed to be with the person, but you can't hurt them. Um, so I just want to commend the judge for having the intestinal fortitude for doing the right thing here. Mm -hmm. So she says, she claims that he physically hurt and traumatized her after the first incident. And by the way, this applies to everyone, male and female. D don't do this. Don't go home with somebody you don't know. Don't bring somebody home who you don't know, especially if you're a MLB baseball player with $102 million. That's fucking stupid. Sorry. It's stupid. I, 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 hold, I, on, I, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold I know. On. I'm glad hold Arthur jumped. Hold on. It's yeah. stupid. Hold on. No, Megan, Megan, Wait, 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 wait. hold no. on. Well, I'm, I'm right. I'm Everything I said is right. What's your problem? I'm, I'm 25 years old. First, Arthur. Arthur. Go ahead. What'd you say? No, no you go, Arthur. go first. I feel the same way. Go. I mean, go. I'm 25 years old. I'm a healthy, young, single male, and I meet a young lady, and we start making out at the bar, and she's like, where do you live? And I live three blocks from here. I want to come to your house. I'm supposed to say, no, Megan Kelly said, don't do it. 
Yes, you are. You're, you are because oh, you actually oh are a, God, what we Megan. call in the law a target, a big old target. Back to Albany. I, what do you want me to tell you? Oh, no, 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 no. This is why I know I'm right. This is why I know I'm right. I know this from somebody who knows. I, I don't I don't think I've ever said his name publicly, so I won't hear either. But he's literally one of the biggest baseball stars we've ever had. And this guy, before he brings a woman back to his apartment, the woman comes to the door. There is a security guard at the door. The security guard films the woman on camera to say, are you here of your own volition? Do you feel okay? Are you intoxicated? But no, I'm good. I'm here. I'm ready. They go, they do the thing. And when the woman leaves, the guy videotapes her again, asks her all the same questions, gets her on tape. That's what they do to protect this guy who is literally one of the most famous people in, in the world. Right. Hey. And I understand why, because he knows he's a target. There are women yeah. like this who are willing to hurt you. All right, so if Arthur and I are being intellectually honest, we would tell you, you're right. The perfect way to be is to make your big money, stay in your house, never go out, don't have any interaction with the opposite sex. I That's didn't say ideal. that. All ideal right, is that love, starting point. commitment, then sex. That's the starting but if point. you're going to do it the, that other way, get the guard at the door. Okay, but the next best thing, the metaphoric guard at the door, is texting with a woman, having a record that we're going to be choking each other, all that horrible stuff. Oh, my God. I don't mean to judge it. That's another thing. That you're winning my argument for me. No, you're winning my argument because I, I don't think you should do it at all, at all. But I really don't think you should have rough sex where you choke a woman out with a fucking oh, stranger. That's insane. Objection. That's judgment. Overruled. That's what you're not into, allegedly. If he's into it, it's stupid. If he's into it, Stupid. That's I don't care name. what he's, I do care a little what he's into because this is messed up. He's gross. I'm sorry. But like, who would go oh. to bed with a woman on night one and choke her out and then say the next time, I can't wait to get my arm around your neck so that you pass out. And there's Consenting no question that he beat adult. her up. She she Consenting asked for it. But like, adult. what kind of a man? I, that's bizarre. I, I don't have to like him. I don't have to like him. And I don't, I don't like him. Doesn't mean I think he should have lost his baseball contract, but we'll get to the other women who came forward against him. I'm just saying it's stupid ass practice for somebody like that to go home with a stranger and quote, choke her out at her request. What do you think is going to happen? I'm excited to tell you about our new sponsor, C60 Power. If you have not heard of Carbon 60 before, it's also known as C60, a powerful, naturally occurring, Nobel Prize winning antioxidant that works at the cellular level. C60 Power says C60 can help to increase energy and mental clarity by neutralizing oxidative stress and the toxic free radicals that contribute to aging. Now, not all producers of C60 are created equally. It's very important to go for high quality, 99.99% pure C60 if you're gonna do it and don't accept any cheap knockoffs. Many people who consume just a teaspoon a day of C60 Power as part of their morning routine, note an increase in energy and mental clarity within 30 days of daily use. If you feel like you're slowing down or could benefit from more energy and mental clarity, and you're ready to kick that brain fog to the curb, you can visit shopc60.com to check it out and use the code Megan10 Megan for 10% off your first order. Okay, that's shopc60.com, promo code Megan10, or you can just click the link in the description or shopc60.com. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.